One of the most striking examples of Hindu iconography is the Nataraja, which depicts the Lord Shiva as the cosmic dancer. This shows the spiritual significance of dance, and for centuries, men danced as an expression of devotion. Ironically, over the years, classical Indian dance has become associated with female artists, with male dancers being sidelined. Fortunately, things have begun to change in recent years, and the Third Sun Cult Festival showed how Indian classical dance is making a magnificent comeback with male performers. And Mela attended. <laughs> A shared love of dance has brought three young men together in an ensemble called Purusham and the trio performed at this year's Sankalp festival presented by the Kala Darshan. Tevin met up with them as they prepared backstage. Two of the Purusham performers tonight are Bharatanatyam dancers while the third is a Kathak performer. So the production symbolically unites two very important styles in the classical Indian tradition. Nolan, Teresh. Hey guys, I see you guys doing your makeup. Allow me to disturb for a little bit. What are your thoughts on the concept of Purushan? I feel like it's such an amazing concept to bring awareness to the male aspect of dance. It's sad that we as society don't promote male dancers. Teresh, Shanolan and Rishalan are both Bharatanatyam dancers and you're a Kathak performer. What are your thoughts on the combination of the two for Purushan? I think the vision behind the festival director, Sri Manish Maharaj, was to showcase both the predominant sides of Indian classical art, not choose one. And I think that's amazing to merge the two streams of dance together. Purusham is derived from Sanskrit and can be translated as the cosmic man, the self or consciousness. For this item, Shanolan performed a duet with fellow Purusham member Rishalan Gavinder, a medical student who as a dancer challenges prevailing preconceptions about gender and classical Indian dance. Many people see dance as being full of emotion, which it is, but for some reason we link emotion to femininity and it's not such. Dance has two aspects. It has a Tandava aspect, which is a very heavy masculine aspect, and then there's the Lasya, which is very emotional, feminine, as they would say, but it's not actually that. It gives us the opportunity to show our emotion, show our love of the art, but at the same time, not taking away from the fact that this is not just a female dance. It is for anybody who loves the art at the end of the day. Rishalin was a student of Srimati Varushka Pata before becoming an independent artist, and he toured India recently as a Bharatanatyam performer. The voice of journalist and talk show host Tarish Hariprasad is familiar to Lotus FM listeners, but as a dedicated student of Sri Manish Maharaj, he also communicates through the medium of movement in the Kathak style. In addition to studying psychology and drama, Shandolan is as skilled in contemporary, folk and Latin American dance as he is in the classical style. He is devoted to Bharatanatyam and studied under Srimati Sujata Kanan Viramani before joining Rishalan and Taresh to form Purusham under the guidance of Sri Manish Maharaj. Manish, how did the concept of Purusham take shape? Purusham came about and was inspired by me as a Kathakar experiencing potential male talent succumbing to society's stereotypical views of the male dancer and also the lack of support from family for the male dancer which is so imperative for any young aspiring artist and I thought the best way to help such an artist, inspire such an artist is to create a conducive platform like Purusham. What brought you, Rishalan, Shinolan and Taresh together in the first place? Having known the work of Rishalan, Taresh and Shinolan, I said that this first performance I have to keep them as the Purushams, so to speak. It's because they represent the ideal when it comes to the male dancer and observing the discipline and being devoted to the art. The Purusham dancers certainly won the hearts of their audience with their spirited performance at the Sankalp Festival and the attitude towards male dancers is changing.
It was absolutely scintillating. The technique was superb. Many males uh, don't really come out and do this sort of dance, but I thought it, it's something that people should do. It was very encouraging for all kids, for all adults, and it was an exceptional piece of work. Vishal and Shanolan and Teresh haven't allowed themselves to be discouraged by disapproval and stereotyping. Their unchanging, undeniable love for the art form and dance is truly admirable, and it's the essence of Purusha.